All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the third episode of the game test tutorial. Today, we are go I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom GUI. Now, now, if you came from the command block community, you may know of NPCs and how they offer a GUI of their own. I will murder you. And and so that's what we're gonna do. But we're gonna make them better, like a lot better. If you want to be making GUIs, you're not going to be importing anything from Mojang-Minecraft, but instead, Mojang-Minecraft-UI. So let's make a GUI just like an NPC GUI by importing action form data from Mojang-Minecraft-UI. Build a simple player form with buttons that let the players take action. Now, how do you make a GUI? All a GUI is stored in the variable, so const GUI equals new action form beta. Now you can do GUI dot title equals test GUI. The GUI dot body equals this is my test GUI, and then GUI dot button hello world alright so how we used before chat before let's use a new event for this world dot events dot before item use that's so sure by the way if there's ever a before version of an event you always want to use before like there's very few exceptions alright now, how are we going to open this GUI? Well, let's open the GUI whenever you right-click with a compass. So if data.item, before item use, whenever you use an item, which is right-clicking an item, if the item that you're holding, dot ID, is equal to Minecraft compass, then what are we going to do? You're going to GUI dot show to the player, which is going to be our data dot source. All right, once it showed dots, then it's result. Now it's another error function. This is the result. Now what is the result? That's where we can use the the documentation. Documentation easily going to be your best friend whenever you're doing game test. I'll have the link to it in the description. So we're going to do is we're going to go to the documentation. Go to Mojang Minecraft UI Action Form Response. If true, the form was canceled, and then returns the index of the button that was pressed. So result dot selection and is canceled. Yeah, as you can see. They're both shown shown on the action form response, which is whenever you know you show. It. So if result dot is cancelled. So if they cancelled so if they cancelled it, I'm just going to console dot warn G UI was cancelled. If result dot selection is equal to zero, this is indexed by the way. So the very first button is button zero. Here, add another button by just doing GUI dot button. Then it would it would be one. So if it's zero, then data dot source dot run command. Tell raw at a raw text text. Um, hello, world. Boom, that simple. So make a GUI variable, make it to an action form data which you import from Mojang-Minecraft-UI. Add a title, add a body, add a button, or as many buttons as you want. And so now whenever you right click on an item with the ID of compass, then it's going to show to data.source, which is the player, 
then if it's cancelled it's gonna warn that the GUI is cancelled and if they click the first button button zero it's going to say hello world in chat I think it's this world right here yeah and that's how easy it is to make a custom GUI so you know there's a normal world made the GMC command slash give at at its compass for now to right click on the compass test UI which is the title this is my test GUI which is the body then hello world which is the button if I click hello world then nothing happens oh yeah I forgot to s I forgot to say that <laughs> you had to const source equals data dot source I'm not really going to go into detail on why that is I'm just going to tell you that it is what it is you yeah. know just make sure if you're using a variable inside there that you just make that you just declare the variable before. It's confusing. Yeah, I know. It's very confusing. Hello world. It says hello world in chat. See? Look at that. You can do it you can make it do more advanced things like make up make like a command menu where the commands that we did over here, like I don't know, GMC and then I'll just straight copy and paste this. And then source dot and command game mode one S. So if I were to make another button, GMS, I can make it do the same thing right here. If result dot solution is equal to one, uh, shoot. Source start. If you only have one statement like this, and if thing you can get rid of the brackets, and just put it on the same line as the if statement, it makes no difference, and it just looks a lot better. And so now let's test it. If we were to just load into the world, we can see how easy it is. By testing why GMC GMS turn into creative, turn into survival. Now that is how you make custom GUIs. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will leave links to this documentation and of course the behavior pack in Mediafire in the description. Um, see ya.